Well, it turned out to be a really nice day across the area. It's still a nice evening. We've got a lot of sunshine showing up on all of our sky cams tonight, along with some pretty comfortable temperatures in Carbondale coming in right at 83 degrees. Sparta's back into the upper 70s. Mount Vernon and the Perryville Airport both holding on to 80 degrees. The entire area is running pretty close to that 80 degree mark. So not bad if you're getting out this evening and we're getting a break from some of that humidity. The dew points are even lower today than they were yesterday. They have dipped back into the low to mid 60s, so it's not very sticky as you're getting out tonight. Enjoy some of that uh, nicer air. It is going to be somewhat short lived. We've got changes coming our way as we start to get into the weekend. So enjoy the nice night tonight while your threat tracker bar is going to be staying nice and low. It starts to go up just a little bit tomorrow. We are going to see an increase in the cloud cover throughout the day and then that chance for rain starting to return by the evening hours. Widespread rain, showers, thunderstorms going to be coming back by the weekend. I think there's some dry time mixed in, but if you have outdoor plans, it's definitely going to be uh, something to watch for right now, though. Our cold front is still well off to the north and west. Our area of low pressure hasn't made its way in just yet, so we're quiet tonight. We've got another quiet night in store for us. The mostly clear skies will be sticking around overnight tonight. We'll kick off Friday with a lot of sunshine, but throughout the day on Friday, we're going to start to see some changes. So as we get into the afternoon, we'll start to see some clouds working their way in from the south. They'll slowly become more and more widespread. As we get into the evening, there is a chance for an isolated shower or two off into the boot heel, western Kentucky and northwest Tennessee. Those chances are fairly small Friday night, but it's something to watch if you're getting out for any Friday night football temperatures tomorrow. It'll be a nice start to the day. A little bit chilly evening even we will be kicking off the day in the 50s. And then as we get into the afternoon, High temperatures will be back up into the mid 80s. Keep the Storm Track 3 app on standby because here comes our area of low pressure. That's going to be working its way up from the south ahead of that cold front that's off to the north and west. So as the low pushes up from the south on Saturday, that brings the chances for scattered showers and thunderstorms Saturday. The cold front keeps those storm chances around into Sunday. Again, I do think there will be some dry time, but it's something to keep an eye on. We're talking about fairly widespread activity on both Saturday and Sunday. The heaviest rain is expected to be just off to the east out of the viewing area. After Saturday and Sunday, we'll start to see those rain chances coming to an end by Monday. We see some small shower chances linger, but I think it's a mostly dry day. And then we see the humidity drop off. The temperatures start to take a big dip. It's kind of short lived. I mean, by the end of the week next week, we'll be back up into the upper 80s long term. I think we still have some warm weather coming our way, but there's a fall tease in there. Yeah, yeah. I like these fall teases. We right, the best of both worlds, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, JC.